soon I will be done. Trouble of this world, going home to live with God. Mm -hmm. I just had to break it down real quick. So the title of this one, you already know what time it is. It's the messenger of God here. About to bring you one called Use Your Head for More Than a Hat Rack. Which means use your head for more than just putting a hat on. It's what you hang something on, but I'm telling you, it's about your brain cells, your mind, your think em thack em, if you old school. You know, that's wisdom, that's knowledge. So use your head for more than a hat rack. You feel me? All right, let's go. I'm straight to the facts, so just pin that. Notice where I'm at before you claim that. There's levels to these walls with no contact. I'll reach around a fall and just spring back. Why are you looking kind of lost like I waved back? Hold up, let me explain that. Because you had a choice. You act like I pulled you in the water. You feel me? You act like I, I, I greeted you or I, I'm trying to like, you know, get you to do something. Like I'm trying to pull pull you in. You know, like I left footprints behind me like uh, waiting in the water when I'm trying to warn you before self-destruction. Let's get back in it. When you know I go deep, that's a wave cap. Because, you know, a wave cap hold them waves in. And sometimes if you wear that cap, and you put that wave cap on, then waves could go deep if you know how to do it right. If you put it on just right, if you keep on working with them waves in the right direction, oh, that's deep. Oh, they're going to come out and you're going to see them. So why you looking kind of lost like I wave back? When you know I go deep, that's a wave cap. Say that. Move back. AI crossover better think fast. AI. Allen Iverson. Artificial intelligence. You know, metaphoric. AI crossover, you better think fast. Y'all better think. Y'all better start using your mind. Use your head for more than a half rack. You feel me? Ain't no change if the bill keeps coming back. Corners fold. Four flats, centerfold, chest flat. So when I say ain't no change if the bill keeps coming back, corners fold. Imagine if you was out there in the streets. <laughs> if the bill keeps um, coming back. You feel me? Your corner will fold. Just like a bill. If the corners is folded on there, you can't put it in the machine and get no change back. Because it'll keep coming back. <laughs> Because you don't hold down your corner the right way. You feel me? I'm trying to break it down for you. Corner folds, four flats, center fold. You know how there's in a in a magazine, there's a center fold. And that's um <laughs> that's where you know how you have a picture in the middle that everybody wants to look at. That's center fold. You feel me? And also, it's just like that crease. Y'all, y'all gotta pay attention, cause if you're not, if you're not putting in work, then that that center will fold. Somebody could come and just wipe you out, just cave your chest in real quick. I'm telling you, it means a lot of things. But listen up, ain't no change if the bill keeps coming back. Corner folds, four flats, center fold, chest flat, fake pump, quick jab, fade back. Read between the lines. Fake pump, quick jab, fade back. Better watch out for that jab because it's real quick. You better learn how to fade back, fall back. You feel me? It's all love when I shoot back. Where there's two or three, there he is in the mist. You want to play games, but don't got sense. You want to play the games, but you ain't even got you ain't even got the money for it. You want to play a game, but you ain't got the mind for it. So you want to play a game and don't got sense. That's S-E-N-S-E-N-C-E-N-T-S. 
Like you trying to run game without earning it. I read your number. Quick pick. Lottery. Scratch tick. I'm trying to tell you. Before you even came up, I already knew your number. Uh, you know how back in the day you had those grandparents that could that can read you real quick. They, you know, you can't you can't even walk in with the bull. You can smell it a mile away, if, especially if you got the discernment. You feel me? I'd rather run a loop on a hat trick. <laughs> Quarter sneak the saint out of Pat trick. Quarter sneak. The saint out of Patrick. You trying to holler day when I night shift. You know, I, I should have just read this straight up so you can hear how it goes. But I wanted to break it down and, and read it. I'm old school. John Matten, 97. Tecmo Bowl. Player flashing Bo Jackson. You trying to play the field? Study picking cotton. You trying to play the field? Study, picking, cotton, self-explanatory. <laughs> you trying to put in all this work and you still don't understand what picking cotton is. So study picking cotton. Figure that out. Figure that out. Why are you trying to run the race when I checked the other? my check the other like on baby boy and check the other because I'm not like any other race because I'm not like them because we are chosen we're not a race we're not a color <laughs> you trying to play the field steady picking cotton why are you trying to run the race when I check the other the definition purpose, I'm the coat of many colors. The scars I have shows the crucifixion in the mirror. Testify the Holy Spirit. I see the two witnesses. The olive oil tastes sweet from the tree branches. Anoint my head and let your words fall down on them. Grow a mustard seed to the Mount Sinai. Then let the sky divide. My tears shall bleed the truth. I stretch a jump man's why to a river Jordan. My cloth is gray hairs growing out a situation. And if you don't understand that, <laughs> my cloth is gray hairs growing out a situation. A lot of people want to talk about how much they got. Talk about all the things they got. You know, boasting, that pride, you know. When it's all about the wisdom and knowledge that you have in God and in the word. My cloth is gray hair. It's growing out of situation. So when you are experienced and you went through so many things and you got that wisdom and knowledge... That's worth more than gold. Getting to heaven is where you should seek your mind at. Because we're heir to the thrones. We're rich already in Christ. My cloth is gray hair. It's growing out of situation. That's wisdom. Catching up to seeking how the way I praise him. My cloth is gray hair. It's growing out of situation. That's wisdom catching up to seeking how the way I praise him. <laughs> you thinking about, I thank him in advance for just preparing. See why you up there thinking? I'm already thanking him in advance for preparing that table before me in the presence of my enemies. I'm thinking ahead in advance because I already know that I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. I already know. He's preparing that table before me. I'm already knowing it's handled because I believe. And when you believe, it's already done. It's already done. My haters is slowly unrevealing revelations. So what that means is like, if you don't understand the things that's going on in the world and the reason why people are treating you the way they're treating you, 
is because it's already written that they was going to do that to you in the first place. So they are slowly unrevealing revelation. They they making the word come to life and they the ones that don't even believe and it's they 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 the one doing it and don't even see that they are they revealing the demons that's in them. It's in a word, it's in a book. It's telling you right there what they're going to do to you because they did it to Jesus already. He's letting us know. Man, all these stories in the Bible let you know we all a part of the book. We all a part of the body of Christ. We all going to have different stories, but we going to all go through something that's similar, just like the word. That's how you know when you see stuff happening, you got confirmation, whether somebody you may hear say it or you might go through it. <laughs> and I know you're going to see it. That's why you got to get that discernment. So let's get back to the word. My haters is slowly unrevealing revelations. That's why I'm thanking God for my tribulations. Have you ever thanked God for your tribulations, your trials and tribulations? Because I say that many times because it stands out. You're supposed to thank him for your trials and tribulations because you wouldn't be where you at right now. If you didn't thank him for them, I, I know you may say like if you don't understand how it's, it's hard and it's tough and, and we'd be like right on the edge, like trying to leave this earth going through them. But if you didn't go through it, you couldn't tell it. You can't help nobody else get through it. So you have to thank them because you wouldn't even be on the level you on or where you at. Trust me. That's why I'm thanking God for my tribulations. I'm highly motivated. I know exactly why he chose me to leave you with this message. Wait, you didn't get it? Wait, you didn't catch it? <laughs> and you not praying? Still breathing? You not a demon? Dab. And then start shouting, because you know you made it. And then that's use your head for more than I have right explained. I could have read it straight up because I, I wrote it. In a, in a rap version because I was going to rap this. But I said, you know what? It's, it's, it's too much to where I need to break it down so people can understand where I'm coming from. But normally I'd be wanting to do that to a lot of the things that I get inspired to write by God. But um, I just had to come and drop this one for y'all real quick. Just for some motivation and because I care about y'all. I really want y'all to make it for real. And I want to make it too. So as I'm on my journey... I'm going to share whatever God inspired me to write down. And um, if no one told y'all that y'all are beautiful today, just remember that you are. And I love y'all. Okay? So take care of yourself. I should let y'all see my hair because I be, I be doing some funny stuff. Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, look. So anyways, I, I didn't never know how to braid hair, right? So I've been learning myself how to braid hair. So I'm working on my hair right now. Let me let y'all see. So, look, I did everything but this. And, yeah, I'm, out, I'm already out and about. I don't care what nobody say. So, look, these are my bangs right here. Look, bam. Let me let me, let me, me do something with them. I'm going a, I'm to a finish doing my hair, but, look. And then, Ben, I'm, I'm not trying to start no trend because I'm going to laugh. If I see anybody be trying to wear some bangs with some braids, I'm about to crack up. So, anyways, this is my hair, y'all. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm doing this all by myself. So, yeah. I don't want to say I'm not a braider because I've been working on it for a while. But I'm trying to get better, y'all. I'm trying to get better at this. Um, no, I don't do hair. I don't have, like, a lot of clients or anything. But I'm trying to, like, um, I'm trying to master uh, braiding hair so that way I can um, I can braid hair. Like, start braiding hair and stuff like that. So I do my own hair. So I've been practicing on my own head, being my own, like, little mannequin head. And, um... I practice on a few people. They let me, you know, try to do their hair. But, um, yeah, I don't, I'm not perfect at it yet. But I've been working on it, learning how to braid so I can make this, you know, another little gig to do, another little job to do. So, um, yeah, how about the little bangs and braids challenge? Ain't that stupid how people be having all these challenges that be funny? It don't make no sense. Bam, let's get it started, everybody. The braids and bangs challenge, the BB. All right, but anyways, I'm just letting y'all know. I don't, I don't care. I don't have nothing. Nah, y'all. 
but um yeah let's get these bangs moving okay all i need is a long dress on remember that that the veil the little bangs and a poncho and a swoop you know how people used to swoop that hair around with that um with their hair slick back you know we used to do that slick back real tight remember that Back in the day, if you got that perfect little swoop going on when you look, pull your hair back and you got the hair laid down, everybody, oh, girl, how you slick your hair down so good like that? Can you do mine? Y'all know some of y'all out there, I used to do y'all hair, so don't be acting like I didn't slick y'all hair down because you know I'm the queen of all slick. You feel me? But anyways, I hope y'all can just <laughs> listen to me looking at my hair like this is funny as heck. But, um, okay, so anyways, um. If no one told you that y'all was beautiful today, remember that you are, okay? Just the way you are, you are be beautiful, honey. And I love y'all. So um, go ahead and do what y'all doing. Make sure that y'all get y'all hair did, you know. No, let's be for real. I want y'all to get the word for today. I love y'all. It's okay to have a sense of humor. It's okay to be yourself. I'm just letting you know I'm, I'm myself all the time. You know, I'll always play and joke around and stuff like that. I'm not a comedian, but I just like being myself. But um, anyhow, take care, and I'll talk to y'all later. Later. Mm.